There are going to be two tablets that are on consumers' minds this time around. And that's going to be the newest Galaxy Tab S7 and the iPad Pro. So which one should you get if you're just a regular student, an artist, a photo editor, or a video editor for that matter? Let's go ahead and dive right in. For more great content just like this, just make sure to subscribe and then turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Also, leave a like and a comment down below with all of your thoughts on this video. And while you're at it, I always leave affiliate links down below in the description as well. But make sure that you check out Lusterville so you can find the best deals on all of that tech that you're shopping for. It's a simple browser extension that helps you make the best purchasing decision. And lastly, don't forget to check out my merch store if you're into some monochrome clothing like everything I'm wearing right here. So with that said, links to everything down below. This video is going to be a full comparison between the two, and I'm going to use the 2018 model of the iPad Pro as the prime example, because based off of my, my previous reviews, the 2020 and the 2018 versions of the iPad Pro, they're both nearly identical, really, in terms of performance. Plus, I only have access to the 2018 model at this moment, so please bear with me. It is definitely still worth considering, and I hope that you'll stick around either way. And I'm going to have both the 11 inch model of each respective tablet. So they're both the exact same size pretty much, although they don't share the same aspect ratio. And I'll be getting into that when I talk about these displays. And these are both going to be constructed of metal for the majority of the build, excluding the screen obviously, but they're built differently still. The iPad Pro feels more lightweight and more fragile than the Galaxy Tab S7, as this one feels more sturdy in comparison. In terms of build quality, the Galaxy Tab S7 easily wins in my opinion, but it also wins because of storage expansion, which is going to be part of the exterior design of this tablet overall, and I gotta give it that. And this tablet has a micro SD card slot when the iPad Pro does not. However, they both have quad speakers and they also both have a magnetic attachment for their respective pens. And that is also how those pens charge, even though the one on the Galaxy Tab S7 isn't so great. I prefer the one on the iPad Pro and they both do rely on USB-C while lacking headphone jacks. Uh, but I'm going to give the Galaxy Tab S7 the overall win here when it comes to its exterior design because you can bend an iPad Pro all the way and a Tab S7 is a lot more likely to resist that. So. Yeah. Comparing both displays is rather difficult because I believe that each one is actually meant to satisfy a different audience. They both have 11 inch displays, but the Tab S7 has a 16 by 9, 25, 60 by 1600 IPS display, and the iPad Pro has a 2388 by 1668 retina display, and both of these are going to be running at 120 hertz. They're both very beautiful, colorful, vibrant, they all look amazing, and are great for gaming and, and watching content of all kinds. These screens are going to be great for just about anything. However, I do have a preference, and that is going to be for the iPad Pro's display. This display has a better color accuracy than, than the Tab S7, which is important when I'm doing any kind of professional work on your device. And even if the Tab S7 does have a more vibrant screen, a more pleasing to look at display, it's just not ideal for professional work, I would say. And plus, the aspect ratio of the iPad makes it a lot better for doing work, while the aspect ratio of the Tab S7 makes it better for gaming and watching content overall, in my opinion, at least. Either way, I think that the iPad wins just in terms of personal preference here. And they both feature a quad speaker combo, and they're going to sound pretty good overall. However, I'm going to give the win to the iPad Pro here, and I think that you're going to understand why after you listen to them in the demonstration following up. And the iPad Pro uh, just gets louder, sounds clearer, and has a better sound reproduction overall. So go ahead and have a listen. The Shure SM7B is one of the most popular microphones for pretty much all purposes. People love it for broadcasting, podcasting, for streaming, filming YouTube videos, for singing, and so much more. Most popular microphones for pretty much all purposes. People love it for broadcasting, podcasting, for streaming, filming YouTube videos, for singing, and so much more. When it comes to ports, the Galaxy Tab S7 is going to win easily. They both have identical I.O. However, the S7 has a micro SD card slot with the option of getting a cellular version if you do want if you do want to have any kind of service on it just like on the ipad pro and i actually do have the cellular version for the ipad pro however the ipad pro has never had micro sd card slot no way of expanding it so with that said the s7 because it has that is going to win here and when it comes to cameras i'm mostly just going to keep the front facing one in mind since this is honestly the only one that most people are likely to use 
and honestly they're both great for pictures oh but for video they're both also still going to be pretty good so for zoom calls either one is fine and i won't be nitpicking here as both of these will still give you pretty good results and that's probably not not going to make a difference if you're going to be in an online call i doubt anyone's going to notice and when it comes to the following tests they're mostly going to be regarding the stylus so do keep in mind that most of the flack is actually going to go to each respective pens on their own however that might not be so relevant to mention because either way one is compatible with the other one and vice versa so it's not like they're going to be interchangeable by any means so yeah here we go and both are going to be great for writing and both displays keep up nicely when writing but i think that the tab s7 has a more comfortable pen and writing on this display is a very pleasant experience though the ipad pro has better palm rejection and writing with it is almost as good but the apple pencil feels less precise than the s pen since its tip is just a little bit thicker so in this case when it comes to writing literally i do have to give the win to the tab s7 and a lot of what i said here is going to also apply to drawing performance drawing on both displays is a very similar experience to writing on each one while the apple pencil offers more precision when it comes to tilts and and how that translates onto the canvas i'm more comfortable drawing with the s pen since it already has such great tilting detection and, and precision overall since the tip is already so thin it just feels more precise if you're trying to do any kind of line work however the apple pencil might be better for shading maybe however palm ejection is worse here on the tab s7 so it's less efficient to draw on on the tab 7 in comparison to the ipad pro since you're constantly dealing with having to reposition the canvas and things of the like palm rejection is just a lot better on the ipad pro and it also has a lot more great options for drawing apps and this is a trend that will continue moving forward with this comparison so in other words for artists go ahead and pick your poison if you're doing any kind of animations just immediately go with the ipad pro because I, I don't think that there are any good animation apps on the Play Store for the Galaxy Tab S7. So yeah, there's that. And if you're going to be doing any kind of photo editing, then when it comes to photo editing software, both the Tab S7 and the iPad Pro are going to share Photoshop Express and Lightroom. Both of these are going to be the same across both tablets. If I'm completely honest, it's really just going to be the exact same using utility from both editing softwares on both ends. It really doesn't matter. However, while performance with these is great, the iPad Pro has access to a better version of Photoshop and Affinity Photo, which are both superior photo editing apps other than the ones that I just mentioned, at the very least on other tablet versions, and that you can get where you can actually get a lot more detailed, and that is only going to be available on the iPad Pro. So because of that, if you're going to be doing any kind of photo editing, it is a no-brainer to just go with the iPad Pro. Unfortunately, the same is still going to carry over when it comes to video editing too unless you use premiere rush which i personally hate and on both devices it does perform very well and you can still sync it with your desktop version of premiere pro though this doesn't always work properly with either device if i'm honest performance is going to be great overall and i'm honestly surprised that both of these do pretty well when it comes to like any kind of 4k footage i think that it is pretty surprising actually however the tab 7 is still going to be limited by its software i'm going to give you an example of something much better that the ipad pro has and that is going to be luma fusion and i'm saying this from personal experience i wanted to love premiere rush however it's far too limited and at the very least on ipad at the time it simply was not accepting any kind of footage from, from an external drive and i just couldn't work that way so i went ahead and switched over to luma fusion and luma fusion just feels like a much more complete program it, it is a lot more like having a final cut on a mac or like davinci resolve on pc or something like that and davinci resolve is actually what i use to edit all of my videos it just offers a lot more versatility when it comes to color grading when messing around with the audio you can add plugins in order to uh, to make changes and add things to the software luma fusion is just so powerful when it comes to, uh, to video editing and the experience is honestly really clean on the iPad Pro, which is something that the Tab S7 simply doesn't have since it's limited to Premiere Rush or maybe some other fringe applications that you might find on the Play Store that just aren't quite as good. So once more, the iPad Pro does get the win and it's going to be a no-brainer here. And when it comes to battery life, the iPad Pro also wins here. Thanks to its software optimization, it can last me all day pretty easily unless I'm editing a lot. And the same is possible with the Tab S7, but the Tab S7 does chew through battery faster than the iPad Pro does, which is why 
it gets the win here. The iPad Pro can easily last me around eight hours, I would say. At the very least nowadays, I feel like, I, I do feel like it used to last me a little bit longer. And the Tab S7 is more like six hours or so on average, I would say. And with that said, the answer is never really going to be black and white, and I'm going to tell you which you should probably get, just depending on your situation. So, if you're just a student who either wants to save money, wants a good device for typing and the like, then honestly just get the Galaxy Tab S7. I have no issues with recommending it because, because Samsung honestly offers some really good student discounts, and the Tab S7 will be a great value for you. Plus, it comes with the S Pen already, which is great. It's not an extra investment that you have to make. And if you need to do more professional work, then definitely get the iPad Pro instead. It's what I had to get if I wanted the portability and the power plus and the software support that I was looking for. Both of these devices are great, but they're for different people for sure. And Samsung has a great value proposition here and I had to give them that. So do consider everything that I mentioned in this video whenever you're going to make your purchasing decision and if you have any more questions regarding either one of these i'd be more than happy to answer them in the comments below if i can or if i know the answer really so there's that i guess that the ipad pro still wins in 2020 and if you're interested in purchasing either one of these tablets or any kind of accessories for them i'll be making sure to leave affiliate links down to amazon in the description and don't forget that luster is an option so if you need some help looking for some sales luster is literally going to do all of that searching for you and it's going to help you find the best prices for you and it's just going to help you a lot on your purchasing journey and it's actually how I got to snag a pretty good deal on, on the Tab S7 when I purchased it. So I would strongly recommend that you go ahead and use that because it helps me a lot in finding sales. So I have to recommend it. If you use any of my links, do get a small commission that does help me out quite a bit and running things just more smoothly on this channel. Also, don't forget that I stream on Twitch every Friday and Saturday, usually from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern time. So do try to stop by. And if you have any kind of tech questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them for you over there as well. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter since, you know, those are a must as well. And with that said, this has been Francisco from Tech Summit. Thank you so much for watching and I will be seeing you all later. Enjoy.